What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. For the first clip of the day, we're going to the interrogation room. Mistress and murderer Chris Watts reveals in a newly released police interview footage how he lied to her via text when she begged for the truth about whether or not he killed his wife and daughters. Let's watch this uh, freshly released footage. And let's try not to assume, even though I'm just going to go ahead and start assuming. Something about this girl don't sit right with me. But I think we have all learned by the mugshots episode, we can't judge a book by its cover now, can we? But this is the mistress right here. The girl that he was sleeping with behind his wife's back. And during the time he wiped his whole family out. I stepped outside and I made a call like out on my back patio. And I called him. And he didn't answer the phone. And then he texted me back. Oh no, did he answer the phone? I don't remember. I think he missed my call and then he called me back. Or he just answered. Either way, it was a very short talk to him where he was just like, I have to go. The cops are here. And I don't remember if he said that on the phone or over text. That's I don't okay. even, I'm so tired. That's today. fine. You don't but mean either way, like it's the just cops, the context. Yeah, I mean, you guys will figure it out. The cops, the cops are here. And I'm just like, all right. And then... Is that my lie detector going off for y'all's? I don't know, man. This this sounds really fishy to me. I swear I'd be pausing these things at the best time. Looking like the mommy returns. But anyways, look. Something ain't right with this, man. The way she's replying is just something... If I were to guess, bet some of my poker chips on, she's she's off a little bit. Something's off. Let's, let's just run it back just a little bit. Have you said that on the phone? Or over text. That's I don't okay. even, I'm so tired. Today. That's fine. You don't but mean either way, like it's the just cops, the context. Yeah, I mean, you guys will figure it out. The cops, the <laughs> cops are here. And I'm just like, all right. And then I remember we were like in a, like we were texting, but I was like hanging out with my company. So it wasn't like a nonstop text. It was just kind of like I would check my phone every once in a while and we would communicate with each other. And he was just saying like, they weren't there and that her friend Nikki was there and that her friend Nikki had called the cops. And I'm like, why would this girl call the cops? I was just kind of having a hard time focusing and like thinking about what was going on. Cause, and I'd asked him a few times, I'm like, where's your family, Chris? Like, where's your family? You know, and he would tell me like, oh, I don't know, or I want him home. Like, it, 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 I asked like several times. so. I think I got different responses, but each time, like, he didn't know where they were, you know, and I'm like, she's still not home, and he's like, no, and I think most of the texting throughout that day was kind of like, have you heard anything, like, what's going on, it was kind of like me checking up on him, um, why are you checking up on him like that, why do you keep asking about where the family's at, no normal mistress, not saying I have any kind of, uh, history dealing with mistresses, but if I were to guess, most mistresses ain't gonna keep asking, where's your family, where's your family, and if they do, I'd be like, man, shut the hell up. I ain't with you to talk about my damn family. And I don't remember everything, but it wasn't, it, it, I didn't even make it through the entire work day. Like, I was feeling really, really sick, um, like, in general. And then I, I decided on my lunch break to get on the internet and look at what was going on with oh, all the reports. No. And I saw a report that was like, this woman who's 15 weeks pregnant and her two daughters are missing and i was like whoa what and i was just like so floored and i read a couple other articles just to make sure that you know all the newspapers are <laughs> and like just double check like am i really reading this right and i'm like okay and she he had told me i don't know i don't know y'all this is it, it almost it's almost as though the confidence is probably because it's so well planned because i don't know just her 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 tone and reactions is almost as though it's not even that serious to me if i was breaking it down i I've, I've been you know in theatrical mode you know, i might i might have would have cried a little bit talking about damn i can't believe he killed those little girls man you know I'm just trying to put myself in her shoes, and if I was in her shoes, I would not be talking to the police in this manner. This is a very weird uh, manner of explaining how you realize that this guy possibly could have just wiped out his whole family. He previously, like, she says she's pregnant with another man's kid, but he'd said, like, 
he could kind of tell in, in North Carolina. But that girl is, like, obviously pregnant, I mean, in her photos. I mean, 15 weeks, that's like four months. That's pretty far along. And so it's, it's like, how would you not know if she's showing? Like, you totally know she's showing. And so, oh, my God, I got so sick. I was just like, I need to go. Tuesday, yeah, that's when it all started to click. I was like, oh, my goodness, because he was like, well, like, he just didn't seem as, like, concerned as he should be. And he was, like, super worried about shit with us. And I'm just like, Monday night, like, I called him back in the middle of the night because I could not sleep. I could not sleep at all. And I remember when I called him, he sounded like he was sleeping. And I was like, how the hell can you sleep right now? I'm mistresses out there, because I know there's a bunch watching. Don't act like you ain't been a mistress. It's okay. It's 2022. But anyways, I got a question for y'all. Would you be calling back the guy that you met off of some dating website for I knew him for a few months once you found out that his whole family went missing? Would you call him back in the middle of the night for whatever god reason? Come on, man. That right there shows that something's wrong a little bit with her mind. And I was like, how the hell can you sleep right now? And he was just like, I'm just kind of dozing off and on on the couch. And I just remember thinking, like, I haven't shut my eyes yet. And this is not even my family. But I kept asking him, too, like, what did you do, Chris? What did you do? And he was like, I didn't do anything. And I'm like, where's your family? And I remember I like walked out of the room, went in my bedroom and texted Chris one more time. And I told him, I was like, if you did something bad, I was like, you're gonna ruin your life. And I was like, and if you did something bad, I was like, you're gonna ruin my life. And I was like, and I promise you that. And he responded back to me and he's like, I didn't hurt my family, Nikki. And that was like the last text. That was the last time we ever talked. And I never said another word to him after that. Truthful or fibbery? <laughs> There's really no way to find out if she's involved unless she just came clean. But it's a toss-up. The only red flag that I'm still sticking with is why are you going to contact the guy if you know his whole family has just disappeared? Anyone in their right mind would cut it off right there and hope to God the police don't dig too deep and come knocking at your door. But not her. She calls back and says, oh man, how can you sleep during times like this? But there's also rumors that this girl's still contacting them even behind bars. Says this cat right here who just so happened to been locked up with old Chris Watts. So, I mean, who knows? If she is still keeping in contact with the man, if I was a detective, I'd be like, man, we got we got to open up the case on this girl again. Because this shit just ain't right. But that's the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. Quick video for the record books. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about this girl's story. Is she telling the truth or is she lying?